special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. Good evening from Meadowbrook River, the top seed in the East District in Division 4, a record of 21 and 4. Highland, the three seed, a record of 16 and 9. All for the right to move on to the regional semifinals next Tuesday at the Convo. Stay tuned for the pregame show on WKLM. If you've ever wanted to experience Buckeye Career Center's adult education, now is the time. Part-time courses beginning in March include automotive electrical, editing and Photoshop, and sewing. Don't forget about our adult education open house March 14th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Learn more about our nine full-time programs, career enhancement options, apprenticeships, and the adult diploma program. The $50 application fee will be waived for those who attend. Call 330-339-2288 for more information about the March 14th adult education open house at Buckeye Career Center. Sally, you need a root canal. Traveling, you need your wisdom teeth out. Traveling, you need braces. Traveling, you need a dental implant. Traveling, you need your teeth cleaned. Traveling, that's it, happy feet. You're benched until you start going to Dr. Welsh for your dental care. Quit traveling so much. Yes, Coach. I'll check out their website at www.drbradwelsh.com and give them a call at 330-674-4876. Good luck to all area winter sports teams. A single-family home located at 1001 Sycamore Lane, Unit A in Middlesburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $239,000. This new property was built this year and has two bedrooms and two full baths with 1,400 square feet. Located in the Trails Edge Estate Subdivision in the West Hills Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Pedro Guzman at 888-852-4111. Or check it out at CoffinRealty.com. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years. You know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all types of other furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. It all started back in 1953, when a farmer from Stark County and a mortician from Holmes County opened up a tire store with three tires. Millersburg Tire Service is celebrating their 70th year anniversary, and they are proud to say they're still doing business like they did 70 years ago, just on a larger scale. As owner Brad Schmucker gets ready to slow down, the third generation gets ready to take the reins, ensuring they can provide exceptional service for years to come. Whether you need new tires, tire repairs, or regular maintenance, their experienced team has you covered. That's Millersburg Tire Service on State Route 39 East of Millersburg, celebrating 70 years of business. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. It's time for Before the Tip, brought to you by Hobbins Insurance in Millersburg.
Are you covered? Hi, this is Larry Hobrin from Hobrin's Insurance Service in Millersburg and Sugar Creek. We don't believe in selling our customers the cheapest insurance coverage. We believe in selling you the right insurance coverage. At Hobrin's Insurance Service, we won't sell you a minimum limits policy when you have a home or business to protect. We'll set you up a policy that offers you complete coverage for the long-term peace of mind. See our full list of services on our website at hobrinsinsurance.com or call us at 674-9091 or 1-800-340-3767 for a complete insurance coverage quote. Hello, it's the Highland Hawks and basketball. Coach Mark Schley, welcome off that victory over Caldwell to move on to this district championship game. And much like last year's district semifinal market, Cambridge, an early deficit for your team down 17-5 early in that game. What was the message to your team kind of at that point early in that contest? Well, you, you got to just stick to the game plan. You know, we didn't try to you know, change a whole lot. Um, you know, we wanted to do a better job on BD Lorai, and, and I thought we did that. But, um, yeah, just – we had to settle down and just uh, stop turning the basketball over and just get the ball in the hands of people who could score at the offensive end. And I thought our guys did a good job of that. And uh, this is a tough, gritty win. I was proud of our guys. It certainly was. B.D. Laura, you mentioned him, showed how talented a player he was. 18 points in the first half, but just uh, nine points, I believe, in that second half of play. What were you able to do, kind of maybe slow him down a little bit in that second half? Well, I thought Finn and Connor did a great job individually, but then our help was just a lot better. We, we guarded him with with two guys or a guy and a half at all times and um yeah i just thought our, our and the biggest thing we were able to wear him down and and those guys played really hard wore him down and i think that was the biggest reason we were able to get some stops in that game late alex go to your big man a guy that missed some time there late in the regular season you knew there was gonna be some games here postseason wise you were gonna need him and he was big double double and stuff the big time for you in that last game yeah we thought he was you know, maybe our biggest uh, mismatch that we had offensively and i thought our guys did a great job getting the ball alex he played he played with a really high motor, and um, which is good to see because you know he's still trying to get back in shape from when he was out. Look, I see him. He did well. know what he can do, certainly. But obviously, their defense got a key on on him in the first half. Didn't force anything, and he made the, the big shots in that second half. Yeah, I thought Sammy just let it come. Uh, didn't force. Uh, it's a sign of a mature, good player, and you know it's something I think Sammy you know wouldn't have been able to do earlier in the year, but shows too that he's gotten a lot better as the years go gone on. Here you are, district championship game. Of course, I guess the team you probably expected to be against, the top seed River. What stands out to you about this uh, River basketball team? Well, um, I mean, I, I, they're the best rebounding team I've seen in years. Um, just as a group, they'll have five guys go to the boards, and, and they're physical. They play extremely hard. They're well coached. Yeah, the thing, they're just they're a super competitive group. I think that's why they're here in this game is just because their kids play extremely hard. Offensively for them, they have about the three guys that average in double figures. What do you have to do defensively against a team like this? Yeah, they're, they're really good at getting easy baskets. You know, they obviously have those three guys, and they're really good players. They're very strong. They, they get in the paint, and they just muscle through guys. Um, so that's the biggest thing. we got to try to make them shoot the basketball outside of six, eight feet and then figure out a way to get a rebound. But uh, those three guys are talented. They can really score, but their other kids all know their rules very well and, and all rebound the ball very well. Understatement of the year, Mark, but I want to get off to a better start, I would think, here tonight, right? <laughs> I think it's a big key, and uh, I think especially because points could be at a premium tonight. I think both teams are very good defensively, and, um, yeah, so, you know, at both ends of the floor, we have to play better in the first quarter than we did the other night. All right, Mark, thanks for your time, and good luck tonight. All right, thank you. That's the voice of Highland Hawks and basketball coach, Mark Schleyball. Before the tip has been brought to you by Hobbins Insurance in Millersburg. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IJ Marketplace. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have red raspberries, two for six dollars. Gallon Smith's milk for three fifty-eight. Family style Oreo cookies, two for eight dollars. How about Gerber's boneless chicken lovers' choice, four sixty-nine a pound. Smithfield sliced bacon, three ninety-nine. Ballpark all beef franks, four ninety-nine. Sea scallops for sixteen ninety-nine a bag. And thirty-one to forty count easy peel raw shrimp for six ninety-nine a pound. Don't forget to call 674-7075 for meat cheese and party platters at Rody's IGA. Did you know that beginning this year there's a federal tax credit for Energy Star rated exterior windows and doors? At MRV Siding Supply, they have the top rated windows and doors on the market. And right now you can get a 30% tax credit up to $600 on windows and up to $500 tax credit on exterior doors. Plus, material is now more readily available with shorter lead time and better priced at their new location on County Road 624 in Millersburg, as well as their facilities in Newark and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. At MRV Siding Supply. Get your siding supplies from the 
Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. Are you looking for a reliable recycling and waste management solution? Look no further than Kimball Recycling and Disposal. Kimball offers top-notch waste removal, recycling, and landfill services for all your residential and commercial needs. Their state-of-the-art facilities and eco-friendly practices ensures that your waste is disposed of safely and responsibly. Plus, their friendly and knowledgeable team is always ready to help you with any questions or concerns. Don't wait. Visit KimballCompanies.com for more information. Kimball Recycling and Disposal done right. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving a persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MBB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. In last season's Division IV East District Tournament Trail, River was the top seed. They defeated the 12 seed Shenandoah 61 to 17 in their first sectional tournament game, but then they were upset in the sectional championship. They went down to the seventh seed Shady side, fell by two points to them, 31 to 29. Of course, for Highland, on the other hand, in that same East District, they were the two seed. They would go right through that East District capturing the sectional title in an overtime win over TCC. Then another overtime victory at Cambridge, defeating Missouri Central last year in the district semifinals before defeating Malvern in the district championship 50 to 36 last season. And then in the regional semifinals, of course, the Hawks, another victory, and this one in a double overtime, defeating Newark Catholic 63 to 62, and also won the regional championship. They went down Latham Western by the score of 56 to 48, before eventually falling to the eventual state champion Richmond Heights in the state semifinals, 56 to 29, as Richmond Heights to go on to capture the Division IV state championship last year. Stay tuned, we'll have more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. At Wayne Door, we are your trusted partner in helping you build your dream home with quality technicians who pay attention to every detail so you won't have to pay costly future repairs. At Wayne Door, we only install high quality products to protect your family for generations to come. We have your whole house covered with garage doors, windows, and more. So choose the team at Wayne Door. People you can trust since 1973. Visit WayneDoor.com for a free quote today. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. 
Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Do you have a home improvement or DIY project that is not going so well? Over budget and running out of time? We know how it is. This is Ben Hirschberger, Banking Center Manager with the Commercial and Savings Bank, and a home equity line of credit may be right for you. Whether you're adding a room, redecorating, or finally building that new deck, let us help make your plans a reality and turn that do-it-yourself into a do-it-with-us. Save time and apply online at csb1.com. The Commercial and Savings Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. Commitment is part of who we are. Commitment to community, commitment to safe and reliable power, and commitment to zero contact. Hi, I'm Jim Stake, a lineman at Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. Daily we work around 7,200 volts of electricity. We have many reasons to restore power efficiently and return home safely. We are more than a hard hat and safety vest. We are fathers, brothers, and sons. Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative, your local electric provider, powered by people. Highland comes in with a record of 16-9 and nine of the season and for the Hawks. On a roll here coming into this contest here tonight as for Highland, the uh, last loss for them came back against Bishop Reedy at the Battle of the Berkey in Smithville. Fell to them 56-47 to back on January 28th. But then since then, all victories for Highland. One, two, three, four, five straight down the stretch during the regular season for the Hawks. And of course, the three during tournament uh, season so far. So eight straight victories for Highland into this game here tonight for the district championship game. Wins of Ridgewood, Indian Valley, Claymont, TCC West Holmes, along with the postseason for the Highland Hawks, the record of 16-9. For the River Pilots, for them, a record of 21-4. Their four losses this year, a 50-42 loss that came to Barnesville. They also lost 47-32 to Canfield. And also for them, they had a loss of 46 to 34. That was at Dover back on February 14th as well. And their loss to them. West Olds, or I should say Highland, played Dover also during the regular season. Highland fell to Dover by four points at 39 to 35 when they took on the Tornadoes this year. For River at 21 and 4, they average just under 58 points per game. Highland comes in averaging 50 and a half points per contest. Defensively, the Pilots have given up 36 and a half a game for River, and for Highland defensively allowing 45.8 a game on the defensive end. So both teams outstanding on that defensive end of the floor. Stay tuned, we'll have more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things, like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. A single-family home located at 8409 County Road 35, Millersburg, is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $259,999. This property was built in 1971 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 1,552 square feet located in the West Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Cliff Sprang at 330-464-5155 or check it out at Realty.com. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences. 
and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Weinsburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Weinsburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Weinsburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Weinsburg and Berlin. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. In this season's Division IV East District Tournament Trail, Highland, of course, came in as the three seed. And for the Hawks, they would win their first uh, tournament game, defeating 16 seed newcomers down 54 to 8. Then capture the sectional title over the six seed Monroe Central, 73 to 30. Before that come from behind win, of course, back on Tuesday at Cambridge, defeating the two seed Caldwell, 53 to 46. For River, the top seed in this East District, they defeated the 14 seed Bridgeport, 83 to 33. Then capture their sectional title, defeating the nine seed Shenandoah, 38 31. Then it went over the five seed Stralsburg, 40 to 30 to 26. To advance on to this matchup against Highland in the district champion. Championship game. Winner moves on, of course, to the regional semifinals against Federal Hockey. They already won their district title game last night. So against Federal Hockey on Tuesday, March 7th, 8 p.m. at the Convocation Center at Ohio University. McRoy alongside Mike Bazvlosky for tonight's broadcast. Highland against River should be a good one here tonight here at Meadowbrook. Real, real good one. Two of the best teams usually year in, year out uh, in the Eastern District. You know, River is probably the one of the better teams they've had the last couple of years. I thought Coach Slaybaugh made a good point. They like to hit the offensive boards, which could be a good thing for River, but also could be a bad thing. If Highland, uh, Coach Slaybaugh can sustain their defensive blockouts, watch out for their transition offense to be able to get easy opportunities by them crashing the boards. Should be interesting here tonight. You, you, you run against a lot of towns. The teams, not a lot of teams play as hard as Highland. This River team obviously plays very hard basketball. They will match up with their effort and intensity and again, and the will to win. But here's the thing. Highland's built for the tournament. They've had an unbelievable non-league schedule that prepared them for this. And I look for a great D4 matchup tonight. Uh, yeah, the winner was on to the regional semifinals on Tuesday. Mike Maslowski will be back around with tonight's starting lineups. Then the opening tip on WKLM. Stop by Busy Bee's Auto Gear on Township Road 311 in Middlesburg in the former Jim Barnhart Auto Body Facility. They're Holmes County's one-stop shop for just about anything that pertains to your vehicle. Proudly dealing with over 1,400 manufacturers, just bring it in and they'll take care of all your accessories. Do your ceramic coatings and fix your dents and do it all at one place. From residential to commercial, Busy Bee's Auto Gear 100% stands behind all of their work. Call Busy Bee's Auto Gear today at 330-674-1122. That's 674-1122. Hello, this is Moe's Beach, and I'm happy to be an independent representative of the Beamer Group. Back in 2004, I was paralyzed due to an industrial accident. I lived in great discomfort with my left calf, cold feet, and numb toes. I was introduced to Beamer in 2016, and after usage for two and a half months, I have been completely free of discomfort since December of 2016. And learn more about the FDA cleared Class 2 medical device, call me at 330-231-8010. That's 3 Three three zero two three one eight zero one zero to set up a Beamer consultation today. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IJ Marketplace. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have beef chuck, boneless chuck roast, three ninety nine dollars a pound. Pork loin, bone and country style ribs, $1.99 a pound. Red or white seedless grapes, $1.79 a pound. We also have beef chuck, boneless chuck steak, four nineteen dollars a pound. Beef stew meat for four ninety nine dollars a pound. Pork loin, bone and rib chops, two nineteen dollars a pound. Pork loin, bone and loin chops, two thirty nine dollars a pound. And pork loin, bone and sirloin roast, $1.89 a pound. Don't forget to call 674 7075 for meat, cheese, and party platters at Rody's IGA. 
Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables, and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. If you're a motivated individual looking for employment, then Village Motors may have an opportunity for you to start a career. This is Deke Miller letting you know that Village Motors is now hiring technicians with various levels of experience, service advisors, salespeople, and we're also looking for help in our parts department. We offer competitive pay and benefits and a remarkable work environment. Contact Tom Porman at 674-8543 or email him at tporman at villagemotorsinc.com. When you support local contractors, you're supporting MRV Siding Supply. They work with many local contractors that sell their very highly rated Provia products. Look for local installers at the Home and Garden Show in the Cleveland IX Center, February 3rd through 12th, and the Amish Country Spring Home and Garden Show in the Malhope Event Center, March 2nd through 4th. Get your siding supplies from the siding guys. MRV Siding Supply. Tonight's starting line is being brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body, located on the north side of Millersburg. If your car's name is the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body. Now for tonight's starting lineups, here's Mike Maslowski. First for the River Pirates, starting at guard, a 5'10", senior, averaging 12 points a game, Bertie Lawson. At the second guard, a 5'11", junior, averaging 4 points a game, Caden Johnson. The third guard, a 5'10", junior, averaging 17 points a game, Caleb Isley. At the forward spot, a six foot two senior averaging 16 points a game and eight rebounds a game, Ty Long. And the fifth starter, a six foot four senior averaging six points a game and five rebounds, River Thompson. And for River, a record of 21 of four. They're coached by Mark Romick. For the Highland Hawks, starting at guard, a 5'9 freshman averaging just under three points a game and six and a half, six rebounds, Alex Miller. The second guard, a six foot junior averaging 17 points a game, 3.6 rebounds a game, Semi Detweiler. At the third guard, a six foot senior averaging eight points a game, four rebounds, Carson Habiger. At the fourth guard, a 5'9 senior averaging just under four points a game, Finn Kelly. And the fifth starter for Highland Hawks, a 6'7 junior, averaging 7.7 .7 points a game, 6.9 rebounds, Alex Yoder. Highland Hawks, a record of 16-9. They're coached by Mark Schleyball in his 18th season. And the starting line is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Money. They'll pay up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call, 674-1483. Mack Ray alongside Mike Bazlowski. And it's Brogan Steinwell back at WKLM Sports Central here on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. We're also video live streaming tonight's contest on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxon communication team of Casey Claxon, also Carson Zoller, Andrew Dunlap, helping provide the video live stream tonight. Again, it's on YouTube. Search WKLM Radio to find that. We also have the link for that on our Facebook page as well. Other game being video live streamed tonight on YouTube is Garraway taking on Malvern in their district championship game in Division Three. Again, that's also live streamed on YouTube and also on WKLMFM.com on Stream 2. A reminder, tomorrow night we'll have girls Division Four regional championship basketball from Pickerington North. Highland will be in action in that game against Portsmouth Notre Dame. That'll be live on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com, airtime 6.30, tip-off 7 o'clock. Then, due to OHSA regulations, we'll be posting the video stream after that game concludes tomorrow night. So we'll have video of that, but it won't be live stream. It'll be after that game concludes for tomorrow night. As far as tonight is concerned, Highland wearing their black jerseys, black shorts, red numerals, and also red in white trim. And for River, white jerseys, white shorts, and red numerals as well for the River Pilots. Highland off to a slow start to the last game. Don't want to do that here tonight against this River no, team. Want to come out strong and quick. Sustain yourselves on the offensive, defensive boards and get yourself a good opportunity to have a great start. Jumping for Highland, Alex Yoder. He's a 6'7 junior. And for River, that'll be River Thompson. He's a 6'4 senior. All ready for the opening toss. There's the whistle. 
And it's up in the air. It'll be won by River, it looks like. They'll have it going right to left in the first half. The Laughlin pass goes down top in front of the midcourt line. Grabbed now by Cable Isley. Dribbles it high on the right side. Gets the handoff. Now high with it. Now is Brody Lowlathan. Guarded by Finn Kelly. On the left wing, back to Isley. His three-pointers up in the air, going to be no good. Rebound, Corral in the corner. That'll be grabbed by River Thompson. Back to Lullathan on the right wing. Lullathan to the baseline, cut off by Kelly. Spins around, his shot in traffic, going to be no good. Rebound, Alex Yoder. Highland gets the stop. They had the basketball going left to right. Alex Miller, the freshman point guard, into the front court. His pass goes to Alex Yoder. Right point back to Alex Miller. On the left wing, back to Detweiler. His three-pointer is going to be knocked down. Highland strike first. They're at three nothing. Great job offensively running a set play against that zone. Detweiler steps up per usual. Work to perfection. Now the Pilots have the ball. Here's Isley to the front court, guarded by Detweiler. Now to the front court goes left wing. Over to Keaton Johnson. Back inside the Lullifan. Kicks it back out top to Isley. Holds onto it. Surveys it. Pass goes high on the right side. Isley has the basketball. Dribbles it against Detweiler. He'll be double team. Now dribbles it to the top of the key. Left point back over to Johnson. Johnson guarded by Habiger. Back in front of the midcourt line to 5'10 junior guard Cable Isley. Averaging 17 a game. Into the corner to Thompson along the baseline. Back inside to Thompson. Three-pointer by Thompson is going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Lolfen. His putback blocked inside by Habiger. Rebound again. A putback is good, however, by Ty Long on the second effort. And he's fouled. Long to the foul line. A chance for a three-point play. Again, River already three offensive rebounds. Something that Coach Slaybar talked about. On those three-point shots, you're going to have long rebounds. Got to sustain it and go get it. Perfect example, and now a chance to tie this ball game up at the foul line, tie along. Free throw is up, it's going to be good. Three points for him were tied up at three apiece. That foul was on Alex Yoder, his first personal foul. Highland ball, tied at three into the front court. Here's Alex Miller, now to Yoder, left to the foul line. Al top back to Alex Miller. Dribbles it, gets the hand off high on the left to Detweather. Holds onto it, pass to a pass to Habiger, right quarter of Finn Kelly. Kelly dribbles it to the foul line, to the lane. His shot blocked inside. Rebound chased down by Caden Johnson. After that tie long block. Pass inside by Isley. Grabbed by Lolfin. Kicks it back out top to Isley. His three pointer top of the key. Going to be no good. Rebound by Johnson. Under the bucket, and he'll have it tied up. Arrow does point to Highland, however. Every offensive possession that River had equaled an re- offensive rebound. Again, not the start that Highland coach Slayball wants defensively. They're hitting those boards, as you mentioned. It'll be now in Connor Beachy replacing Finn Kelly for the Hawks. Tied at three. Under six minutes to play. First quarter, Highland has the basketball. Here's Detweiler into the front court. Guarded by Lullifan. On the right wing, Alex Yoder back out top to Detler. Now to the foul line. Lane, pass inside. Grabbed by Habiger. He'll be pushed down. He'll be fouled. Car- It'll be uh, Carson Habiger to the foul line. Let's shoot two free throws. See, Sammy did a great job. Didn't have the shot. Penetrated. Saw the opposite teammate at the block and we were able to draw the foul for uh, Carson. And that foul going to be called on Keenan Johnson, his first personal foul, of course. At the foul line, Carson Habiger, six-foot senior, averaging eight and a half a game and four rebounds per contest during the tournament trail. A 71% free throw shooter during the regular season, but he misses the first one right there. Tied at three. Habiger, now his second free throw attempt. That's up. That's going to be no good. Missed them both. Rebound juggled and grabbed by River Thompson. River basketball, his second rebound. End of the front court. Here's Isley out top. Isley near midcourt, picks it up. Too soon, knock loose, grabs it again. Now back in the front court, Isley to the foul line. Back in the corner. Now the drive by Thompson. Cut off. Back in the corner now, far side. Pass into the bucket, goes to Lullifan. Double team, falls down. Shot up in the air, going to be no good by Keenan Johnson. Rebound chased down by Alex Miller. Highland ball to the front court. Chased down now to the corner by Beachy. His pass goes out of bounds, but deflected by Isley. It'll stay with Highland. 5.07 to play, first quarter tied at three. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway in Middlesburg. Habiger's pass left wing back over to Beachy. Al top to Habiger. Dribbles it high on the right side. Knock loose, stole away by Isley. Isley to the bucket, his layup left hand going to be high off the glass, no good. Rebound grabbed by Connor Beachy. Good recovery by Highland defensively. Now to Habiger to the front court. Dribbles it left wing. Al top goes over to Alex Miller, right wing back to Detweather. Down to the corner. 
Back out top now to Beachy. Left point back to Alex Miller. His three-pointer is going to be off the mark, off the glass. Rebound grabbed by Ty Long. Still stuck on that 3-3 score. Here's Thompson, right wing. Back to the corner. Goes to Keaton Johnson for River. On the right wing. Dribbles it. Bounce pass inside. Right post to River Thompson. Backs it in. Shot by Thompson. No good. Rebound ripped down that time by the Highland Hawks' Alex Miller. And he will be fouled. His second rebound. Now the Hawks all of a sudden rebound that ball better. A lot better. And Kent, both teams contesting every shot. 3-3. Again, both teams matching up intensity at the defensive end. Again, neither team able to get any easy points. And Coach Slabar, Slabar said that. He said River is used to getting some easy baskets, especially the top three scores, and they're taking that away today. Tyler with a tie to three still during the midway point of the first quarter. Alex Miller fouled on that right quarter. He'll be closed line by Ty Long. 13 foul by River, and Long has his first personal foul. Highland to inbound, midway into the front court near side. And to inbound it will be Nick Wigdon who checked in, 6-2 sophomore for Highland. Now top to Finn Kelly. And Alex Miller drive to the bucket, hits the high off the glass, no good by Miller. Rebound grabbed by Lolifan. River ball into the front court. The dribble by Thompson, back to the quarter, three-pointer for the year, going to be no good by Ty Long. Rebound juggled, knocked out of bounds off a of river, and it will be Highland basketball. Better job defensively getting the box out. I think the ball tipped out of bounds again. Don't want to get a second chance. Hawks with it. Half court defense applied by the Pilots. Still tied at three. 3.45 the play in the first. That way they're to the front court. Picks it up. Bounce pass goes to Wigdon on the right wing. Al top now to Connor Beachy. On the left wing, back to that weather to the corner to Finn Killy. Head fake, dribbles it to the lane. Killy in traffic. Pass out top. Almost travel, but Al top to Wigdon instead. Wigdon dribbles it. Now to the foul line, to the lane. Back in the quarter goes on the three-pointer by Alex Miller. He'll knock it down. Alex Miller gives Highland a 6-3 lead. Nice penetrating pitch there for the corner three. And now River basketball to the front court. Here's Isley high on the right side. Three minutes to play first quarter. Left wing back to River Thompson. Dumps it mid-post to tie along. Backs it in. His shot in traffic blocked inside, but it'll call a held ball, I believe. To the arrow does point to River. Stay tuned after the contest for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Rhodey's IGA Marketplace. We'll have all the area tournament scores for you all the way until midnight. See if River looks like they're getting a little frustrated because every attempt offensively is being contested. That's what the Hawks do. Ball and batted, knocked away. There's another contest and stolen away by Detweather, the first River turnover. Ashton Schrock in the game now. Now the Detweather drive to the lane. His name, oh, the last going to be good in the foul, Detweather. Down on the bucket, a chance for a three-point play. Great play by Sam. He saw he had to step, took it straight to the hole, and the defender got their leg ready for a traditional three-point play. Brody Lowell in his second personal, 14,000 on River. Detweather has five, now a timeout. 2.52 to play in the quarter. Highland up 8-3 to three over River. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. Loading the kids in the car. Brokering peace in the back seat. Mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hobrin's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Jewelry store with a free cleaning and inspection and all the repairs are done right in their showroom at the jewelry store, 97 West Jackson Street in Millersburg, Highland on a 5-0 run. A good start. Coach Lebaugh talked about that. Want to have a better start than the previous game, and they're making it happen. That while they're at the charity stripe. And that free throw is up. It's going to be good. He'll complete the three-point play. Six points for Detweiler. Came in, averaging 17 a game during the postseason. 9-3 Highland. And now on a 6-0 run. Highland's basketball to the front court. On the left point. Grabbed now by Peyton Blue. 6-1 sophomore in the game. Left wing back to Lullifan. Out top to Blue. Pass goes on the right point now. The tie long. Guarded by Finn Kelly. Long dribbles it. Picks it up. Pass left wing through the hands of Blue out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. And for River, their second turnover of this first quarter. That defensive pressure is playing a big role. River just one of 11 from the field. And our last two possessions turning it over. 
Island ball. They have a 9-3 lead. 2.20 to play in the first. Betweather. Right point has it stolen away by Lullifan. Highland's second turnover. Highland's basketball. Now Isley on the left wing. He'll dribble it against Detweiler. Backs it up near midcourt. Isley now to the foul line. To the lane. Cut off. Picks it out top. Lullifan. His three-pointer is going to be off the mark. Rebound grabbed by Nick Wigdom. Highland ball in a six-point lead. Into the front court. Detweiler right wing now to the foul line. Out top to Wigdon. His three-pointer is going to be knocked down. Nick Wigdon, his first three points, Highland a 12 3 advantage. Again, you got to compliment Sammy there on that penetration and pitch. All the defense is coming to him. Again, hitting at the big three point shot there. 9 0 1 for the Hawks, pass inside. Going to be a foul called. I believe Shock, much a smaller defender against River Thompson, he gets called for the foul. Actually, that's a pretty good uh, foul right there. Had a little bit of mismatch. River saw the mismatch, mismatch and a uh, good foul there by Schrock. It'll be River to win Bennett, but he throwing back for 140 to play in the first quarter. They trail at 12 to 3. Isley inbounds it to Long, back to Isley to the foul line. His 15 footers high in the air, going to be off the mark. Rebound to the four, going to be grabbed by Keaton Johnson. Johnson pass right wing, grabbed by Isley. Isley to the foul line, to Lane, and he will be fouled on the floor, it looks like. That'll be the 13th foul now on the Hawks. And it looks like uh, Caleb uh, Isley's going to try to force the penetration a little bit more, try to draw some fouls and maybe sink that uh, Hala defense to try to get a penetrate, pitch a uh, three-point shot of their own. First personal on Detweiler. Isley came in averaging 17 a game for the 5'10 junior guard. And to win it again. Isley looking. And great the night defense. He cannot get the pass off. And finally a five-second violation. Coach Slabo has to just be thrilled with this defense. And again, it is frustrating River. And again, a tournament play, as the game goes on, shooting percentage usually goes down low. And again, uh, Holland's doing a tremendous job. Schrock has it across the timeline for the Hawks. Into the quarter to Wigdon. Holds onto it. Wigdon takes it left wing. Cross court pass right side to Schrock. Thought about it. Into the corner to the Finn Kelly instead. His three pointers up in the air going to be knocked down by Finn Kelly from deep. Nice shot. Maybe a little surprising. Tough look right there. And again, big play there by the Hawks. And Highland all of a sudden a 15 to 3 lead. Since it was tied up at three apiece. 12 a run. Shooting way over 50% this first half, too. Getting good looks. That's the big difference in this game so far. Pilots basketball, under a minute to play in the first quarter. Here's Isley out top against Schrock. Around the foul line now to Ty Long. His shot in going to be waved off. Call him for the charge as he ran through Carson Haviger. And again, not a bad move there by Long, but again, took an extra step where he didn't need it. And again, just trying to force that too much. He got charged with the uh, charging call. Ty Long, his second personal foul. Five team fouls now on the Pilots in this first quarter. 49 seconds to go. Highland basketball in the midst of a 12-0 run. Here's Carson Hamburger. Will act as the point guard now across the timeline. Guarded by Lullifan. Dribbles the left point. Back in the corner, Nick Wigdon. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound hauled in by Isley. Into the front court. High throw that time. Too tall. Tried to find Long, but out of bounds and a turnover. Again, you can't deny that uh, turnover there by Isley. Trying to get an easy point for his team who's been struggling. And now in, Alex Yoder will check in for the Hawks. River with four turnovers in this first quarter. And out is Connor Beachy. Alex Miller back in, replacing Ashton Schrock. Looks like River's going to pick up a little bit of three quarters here. See if Coach Slaybar is going to try to hold it for one shot with the last 30 seconds in the game, or in the first quarter. Here's Habiger at three quarters court and across the timeline, guarded by River Thompson. 25 seconds to play. In the front court, Highland has the ball. Right wing back to Detweiler, 20 seconds. Now to Wigdon in front of the midcourt line. Down to 15 seconds. Dribbles it high on the right. He'll find Detweiler high on the right side. 13 seconds. Down to Haberger. Dribbles it now. Drive to the lane. Haberger layup. Off the last. Going to be no good. Rebound tipped around. Grabbed by Alex Yoder. Now to Alex Miller. Four seconds. Lost it. And be grabbed by Wigdom. Back to Alex Miller. And his shot at the buzzer. Going to be baked in. He knocks it. It's going to count by Alex Miller. On a position that was going nowhere. Somehow he banks it in from deep. That's the way the first quarter comes to a close. It's Highland 18, River 3. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. 
Mullet Cabinet creates high-end kitchens and bathroom furniture. We try to create a culture here that provides a place where people can come and it's not just a job, but it's a place where they feel like they're accomplishing something. It's a place that they love to come and really make a difference. You don't need to come in with any kind of certain skill set. We will train you. Lots of opportunities from running unique machinery to drafting to sales to becoming a manager. The CDC reports loneliness can lead to an increased risk of dementia, depression, anxiety, and premature death. If you have an elderly loved one who is lonely or socially isolated, Walnut Hills can help. Contact us today to learn how Walnut Hills can meet the emotional and social needs of residents and help them live carefree. In addition to providing excellent hands-on care, Walnut Hills offers a variety of programs and activities in our independent living, catered and assisted living, and skilled nursing care options to help combat loneliness and social isolation. To find out more or to schedule a tour, call 330-893-3200. Highland basketball in the midst of a 15-0 run as they have it to begin the second quarter as well. Right wing back to Carson Haberger. Dribbles it, spins around, cross court pass out top. Alex Miller to the corner, back to Wigdon. Wigdon to the baseline. His reverse layup going to be no good. Rebound tipped out top, grabbed by Wigdon again. Back inside and finally stolen away by Ty Long. Highland has their third turnover. River basketball into the front court. To the corner goes to Lolofen. His three-pointers up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound to Carson Haberger, and he'll be fouled by Lolofen. That's going to be his third personal foul, and 16th foul now on the Pilots. Just a frustration foul there by the River Pilot. Again, struggling offensively and picked up his third foul. I see what River Coach does here, keeping him in the game. Highland ball. Here's Haberger, a three-quarter score. Now across the timeline. Working against Isley. Pass high on the left goes to Wigdon. Spins around to the foul line to the lane. His shot in traffic, no good. Rebound, Alex Yoder. His putback is going to be no good. Rebound grabbed this time by Ty Long. Into the front court to Isley for the Pilots. Isley to the foul line. Out of the corner. Still the dribble. Now back out top goes to Ty Long. One minute into the second quarter. Long to the foul line. Gets the handoff. Knocked away in the steal by Nick Wigdon. And transition. Wigdon with his layup left hand. Going to be good. Nick Wigdon now has five. Highland now a 20-3 lead on a 17-0 run. River ball to the front court. The dribble now to the left wing by River Thompson to the foul line. Out top, Isley now. Isley holds onto it on the left wing. Back to River Thompson, left post. Spins around, double team. His shot going to be no good. Rebound inside Alex Yoder to the front court. Chased down by Detweiler. His layup is going to be good. And Weiler now has eight points, now another timeout. Highland on a 19-0 run. Quickly, the first quarter numbers from courtesy of Mike Banslowski. Highland, five for seven from three-point distance in the first. River was 0 for five, and Highland one for four from two-point range for 25%. River was one for eight for just 12% shooting. Highland one of four from uh, the foul line, 50%. River one for one. River out rebounded Highland 11 to eight in the first quarter. Highland had four turnovers and two turnovers for the River Pilots. Highland now a 22 to three lead, and it's one of those things, Mike. If, if you uh, aren't used to playing against Highland's defense, it's hard to simulate that. Just how hard they play. I guarantee you they didn't face anybody in the higher valley that plays with the intensity that Highland plays and getting in the passing lanes. And the thing is. They're picking him up at the volleyball line. So they're forcing a lot of stationary dribbling, dribbling by River. And what's happening, River is standing around, and they, they have no place to go. Abs absolutely no place to go. And you got uh, credit Coach Laybaugh's defense playing tournament basketball, what Highland always does each year, uh, each year and out. Textbook, that's how you move on. Right now they have a 22-3 lead. As the River has not scored since it was tied up at three apiece. And they'll have it out of the timeout. Inbounded and grabbed by River Thompson. Now back to Isley in the backcourt. 6-19 to play, second quarter. Isley across the timeline from Meadowbrook. Dribbles it, now out top. Pass pass to the quarter goes to River Thompson. Thompson looking, cross court pass on the cutting to Lolfen. Lolfen shot high in the air, no good. Rebound, thought four, going to be a foul called. Loose ball foul going after the basketball against Highland. That'll be their fourth team foul in the first half. And again, contested shot. Lolfen fading away, and again, probably not the look that River wants. Nothing easy, and that last foul going to be on Wigdon, his first personal foul. Connor Beachy getting set to check in if they'll let him. 
Troy Miller Agency with offices in Shreve and Berlin. Wish good luck to all the area high school basketball teams. They'll provide you with a quote for your home, auto, and farm insurance. Proudly representing Wayne Insurance Group. Troy Miller Agency, a working team for all your insurance needs. River to win Maddox beneath their own backboard. Down 22-3. And batted out top. Grabbed by River Thompson. Thompson held a, a defended by Alex Miller on the left wing. Picks it up. Gets the handoff back to Isley in front of the midcourt line. Isley to the foul line. Back out top to Johnson. Johnson picks it up. Gets called that time for the offensive foul. Just trying to create space. Again, not used to somebody being right up on you. And again, uh, number 12 there, Caden Johnson. Reeve, you got with the turnover on the offensive foul there. His second personal foul. Six turnovers now on River in the first half. Highland ball, 5.45 the play in the half. Here's Habberger across the timeline. Habberger out top against River Thompson. Left wing back to Alex Miller. On the right wing to Detweiler. His three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound going to be uh, corralled inside by Ty Long. Ty Long says fourth rebound of the first half. Isley to the front court on the left wing. Dribbles it out top. Pass pass the long run of the foul line. Backs it in. Shot by Long in traffic. No good. Rebound grabbed by Habiger. Habiger on the fast break. Poke loose in stole right back away. Highland has the turnover. Their fourth. Pass inside now to Ty Long who makes it up and in. Ty Long has five points. He has all five points for River tonight. Their first point since that 3-3 score. That snaps a 19-0 Highland run. And it'll be a Highland basketball right now. End of the front court. Is Carson Habiger up 22 to 5. Under five minutes to play in the half. Into the corner goes to Detweiler to the baseline, dribbles it. Left wing to Habiger. Dribbles it to the foul line. Out top to Beachy, right corner, Alex Miller. He'll be bumped. No foul. Now to Beachy, right wing. On the left point to Detweiler. Dribbles it to the foul line. His 50 foot actually knocked loose and stole it away instead. Into the front court, knocked to the floor, out of bounds off the hands of Finn Kelly as Highland will knock it away. Get Holland. Stand around a little bit more than they did the first court. Can't get any very good looks, and River was able to force a turnover there. Five for Highland, six for River. And for River to win Bennett now, it'll be Isley. Lobs it out top, chased down by Ty Long. 6-2 senior, averaging 16 a game and eight rebounds per contest is Ty Long. He'll dribble it against Finn Kelly from the foul line. Spins around. His shot up going to be no good, but a foul cold on Finn Kelly. 15 foul on Highland, and Kelly has his first personal. Well, it looks like the River's doing again there. Ty Long and even Lofton when he was in and Isley just trying to force the ball to the paint and force the official to call a foul, which they did here. Long to the foul line against all five points. He's one of one for the foul line also. That free throw off the glass, no good. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway in Middlesbrough. Second free throw is up. That's going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Finn Bowers. His putback up going to be good. Finn Bowers with the putback. His first two for the 6-1 junior. 22-7 lead for Highland. They had the ball. Hamburger to the front court. Has it to the foul line. In the corner, Finn killing. Dribbles it. Now to Hamburger left point. Now to the foul line. Drive to lane, and he'll be fouled on that drive. Carson Hamburger, the 18th foul river, so it should be a one-on-one. Alex Yoder now in, and he will replace Finn Kelly. And last foul going to be the first on River Thompson. 0 for 2 for the foul line, Carson Habiger tonight. Again, the six foot senior, Habiger, still searching for his first point. And that is up. It's going to be good. Rattles at home. Once again, this game being video live streamed tonight on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxon. Communication team, Casey Claxon, also Carson Zollers on YouTube. or also on FM 95.3, WKLMFM.com. Brogan Steinbaugh back at WKLM Sports Central. Also, that Garraway Malver game also is being video live streamed on YouTube tonight. Second free throw, no good. Rebound chased down by River Thompson. Pilots basketball, they're down 23-7. End of the front court. Here's Isley with it. Working against Detweiler. Bass pass on the right point. Now the tie long. On the left point, back to Keenan Johnson, drive to the lane. Johnson's layup high off the last, no good. Three out to the four, it's grabbed inside by Ashton Schrock. Island ball to the right corner, here's Detweiler. He'll be bumped and foul. Too close was Ty Long that time. That's 19 fouls long, now his third personal foul. Yeah, you do not want to uh, put Sammy at the line again. 
easy way to get some points. Sammy Detweiler, 73 percenter from the foul line during the postseason, 77 percent from the foul line during the regular season. He's one for one from the foul line tonight. Now in is going to be Peyton Blue. He replaces Ty Long with his three personal fouls. Stay tuned after the game for a high school scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Rhodes IGA. We'll have all the area tournament scores for you all the way until midnight. Free throw in and out, and no good. Rebound fought for, and we grab by River Thompson. Highlands basketball. Thompson to the front court. Picks it up too soon. Now to Isley high on the right side. 23 to 7 Highland. River has it. Isley to the right side. His 18 footers up in the air going to be no good. Rebound to Alex Yoder. Highland ball. Yoder his fifth rebound. Schrock to the front court. End of the quarter now to Miller. Alex Miller to the baseline. Tight ropes it, but now he's out of bounds. Too close. And that'll be a turnover on Highland. Yeah, tough, tough call right there. I thought they, the, uh, the defender, number 22, Payne Blue, got a little bit of body on the Holland uh, possession there, but again, got the call for the turnover. That time got away with it, and it'll be the Pilots with it. Here's Cable Isley with it. Three minutes to play in the first half. Dribbles it across the timeline. Isley high in the left. Now to the foul line, kicks it to the corner. River Thompson, his three-pointers up in the air, going to be way off the mark. Rebound put back, however, is good inside by Keenan Johnson. Air bottom, but Johnson was right there to grab it. Again, one thing River's doing last few possessions, getting those offensive rebounds again. Again, last two possessions, getting putbacks. 23-9 Highland, Hawks basketball. Here's Schrock, backs it up, out top now to Connor Beachy, left wing back to Haberger. Haberger to the foul line. Right wing back to Detweiler, his three-pointers going to be knocked down. Sammy Detweiler, his second three-point basket. He now has 11 points. 26-9, Highland. 2.19 to play in the half. Pilots had the ball. Isley to the front court. Dribbles it out top. Now backs it up high on the right side. Left point back over to Peyton Blue. Blue dribbles it. Inside, knocked away. There's a steal by Detweiler. We'll have it on the fast break. Detweiler to the foul line. His 15-footers up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound, fought four. And tied up. Arrow points to a river that time. With 1.59 to play in the second quarter. Now, Finn Kelly is back in. Replacing Connor Beachy also in tie along with those three personal fouls. He replaces Peyton Blue. Really, that's not a loss. That's actually, again, should have been a defensive rebound. Anyhow, they could have caught over the back on Highland. Can take the jump ball because you get the next possession. No doubt about it. Pilots had the ball. Here's Isley calling out the play. Now into the front court. Isley. Pass left wing, back in the hands of River Thompson. Pass inside now, goes to Ty Long. Nice look in there, goes to Keaton Johnson, who makes it up and in. Johnson has four now off the assist from Ty Long. Get a little two-man game inside there by the River Pilots. Highland ball up 26 to 11. One and a half to play second quarter. Left wing to Finn Kelly now. Out top now to Ashton Schrock. Right quarter to Sammy Detweiler, dribbles it to the foul line, out top to Kelly, left wing backer to Haberger, Haberger to the baseline, his layup blocked inside by River Thompson, he got the rebound. Thompson to the front court on the right wing. Picks it up now, out top to Ty Long. 1-10 to play in the half. On the left wing, back over to Cable Isley. And gonna be a foul called away from the basketball on Highland, and that'll be their 16th foul of the half. Highland's doing a good job denying the flash, but once they deny the flash, the River Pilots get to uh, get that possession inside. Highland's got a little bit too much touchy on the guy posting up, and again, the official decided too much hand check there and uh, going to call the foul. Habiger, his second personal foul. 105 to play in the half. Isley, inbounds to the Thompson in the corner, back out top to Johnson. His pass to the right block inside. Going to be a foul call that time. Trying to defend uh, Finn Bowers, a foul on Nick Wigdon. Same thing again. Rivers establishing inside presence. Holland's trying to go through them instead of around. And once they get possession, she got to play straight up and down. Don't reach. And 17,000 Hawks. That's going to be the first personal on Wigdon in a one-on-one at the foul line for Finn Bowers. Free throw is going to be in and out and back in. Got the bounce. So he'll have one more to go. Here's Bowers, the, three points. Sorry, Matt. River is got some strong guys. You could definitely tell they've been in the weight room. Probably play football and again, trying to establish the presence inside the second quarter. No question about it. Second free throw, no good. Rebound to Alex Yoder. He has his sixth rebound. Hawks have the basketball. 54 seconds to play in the half. Up 26-12. That Wilder's pass out top to Wigdon. Wigdon dribbles it. And the 45 seconds down to Detweiler on the right side. 
Jab step, dribbles it to the corner. Detweiler backs it up. Now pass out top to Schrock. High on the left side, back to Wigdom. On the right wing, back to Sammy Detweiler. 30 seconds to play in the half. Detweiler holds onto it. Now the Schrock out top, back to Wigdon, high on the left side. They kind of likes the matchup there on Sammy right now. Got Peyton Blue on him, I believe, or Caden Johnson, rather. Detweiler with it right now against Johnson. Pass out top to Wigdon. 15 seconds. As Hyland looks for that final shot of the half. Back to Detweiler again against Johnson. High on the right, nine seconds to play. Down to six seconds. Detweiler dribbles it, out top, spins around. His shot up in the air going to be knocked down, Sammy Detweiler. To close out the first half. Halftime score for Meadowbrook. And boys, Division Four District Championship Basketball, it's Highland 28 and River 12. Back around the week at the first half for you after this on WKLM. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. Whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT-015 on your side. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT-015 and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Millersburg. 330 or their other locations in Spencer, Mount Vernon, and now open in Loudonville. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Holmes Limestone Company of Berlin is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes, and they understand scholar athletes work hard in the gym and in the classroom, spending long hours, late nights, and sacrifices for not only their personal goals, but also their team. Your friends at Holmes Limestone have been in business since 1948, and they are located on State Route 39 east of Berlin. Holmes Limestone would like to take this opportunity to salute parents, coaches, teachers, and athletes for their hard work and dedication throughout the year. Holmes Limestone, proud to be a part of your community. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. This winter season, while you're driving back and forth to all the basketball games, just remember that one of your stops should be at TMK Farm Service. They offer Haylight Winter Melt Dragon Melt and Calcium Chloride Salt, perfect for steps, sidewalks, and driveways, along with U.S. water conditioning pellets that work in all types of water conditioners. Plus, for all you animal lovers, TMK also features their very own manufactured feed, as well as being a Kambach Feeds and Purina Mills dealer. That's TMK Farm Service, with four locations to serve you, in Berlin, Sugar Creek, and New Bedford, along with their organic facility in Holmesville. It is halftime in boys Division Four District Championship Basketball for Meadowbrook. Highland, the three seed with the 28-12 lead over the top seed, River. For Highland, the key sequence there, it was tied at three in the first quarter. Then Highland would go on a monster 19-0 run as they led 18-3 after one. That 19-0 run would conclude with a 22-3 lead for Highland in the second quarter. The Hawks would outscore River in a much more uh, closely contested second quarter, 10-9. The Highland has a 28-12 lead at the half. For Highland leading the way, that was Sammy Detweather, the lone player for either team that was in double figures. Detweather was two for three for three-point distance. He was three for four from two-point range and one for two for the foul line. Sammy Detweather had 13 first-half points already in double figures for the fourth time 
in postseason play and the 23rd time on the year. Also, five points scored by Nick Wigdon for the game. Three points apiece for Alex Yoder and Finn Kelly, as well as Alex Miller. And one point for Carson Hamburger, running out the 28-point total for the Hawks. For River leading the way, that was Ty Long. For Long, he was 0 for 1 on three-point tries, 2 for 3 from two-point range, 1 for 3 for the foul line. Long had five first-half points, but also played by foul trouble with three personal fouls. Also, four points for Keaton Johnson and three for Finn Bowers, rounding out the 12-point total for the Pilots. Halftime scores, Highland 28 and River 12. Now for the first half team numbers, here's Mike Maslowski. Okay, first on uh, three-point shooting for Highland, they were six of nine for 67%. River just zero of seven for zero percent. Two-point field goals, Highland was four of 11 for 37%. River just five of 16 for 31%. Total field goal percentage for Highland in the first half was 50%. River only shot 21%. Credit that tough Highland defense. At the foul line, Highland was just two of six for 33%. River was 2 of 5 for 40%, and River out rebounded Highland 21 to 15. For River, individually rebounding wise, four rebounds for Keenan Johnson. He had three at the offensive end, four boards also for Ty Long, and four rebounds for River Thompson. For Highland, Alex Yoder had six rebounds in the first half. He had two at the offensive end. Highland committed six first half turnovers, River seven. Highland up big, up 28-12 here at halftime. And Maz, there was really that key uh, sequence where here Highland went on that big 19-0 run here in that big stretch to get this big lead. And it credit the defensive play by Highland from the start. Picked them up, did not give any easy opportunities. Basically, Coach Leiberg was concerned about easy opportunities that their Rivers' three top scorers had. They had one easy opportunity on a transition play. Other than that, again, they're holding River, who's the <laughs> – number one seed in the Eastern District to 21% from the field. That's not by accident. That's by because they're contesting every shot, have a hand in the face, and River has to work their butt off offensively to try to get some points. Big thing is with Highland, though, sometimes they go on laws where they don't get some points off of uh, stops and possessions. And again, you don't want to give any life to this veteran River team. Winner moves on to the regional semifinals Tuesday against Federal Hawking, 8 p.m. at the Convo. Also tonight in Division Three District Championship Basketball at halftime, Malvern has a one-point lead, 32-31 over Garraway. That also is being a video live stream tonight on YouTube as well as on FM9, on WKLNFM.com on stream two. Halftime score, Highland 28 and River 12. Back with the second half after this on WKLM. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Meltway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964, specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MBB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years, you know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream, and all types of other furnaces and equipment, Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057.
Hi, this is Ryan Torrance with Safe and Sound Security. Are you considering security for your home or business? Do you need to upgrade to today's technology? If you have a smartphone, your system can be controlled from the palm of your hand. View your business cameras the same way. Give us a call toll free at 888-317-SAFE or visit our website safe, the letter N, soundsecurity.net. Again, 888-317-7233 or safe, the letter N, soundsecurity.net. Proudly serving Holmes County since 1998. Trying to decide if now is the right time to stop renting and purchase a home? Ask yourself a few questions. Are you ready to settle down? Can you afford to pay for repairs and maintenance costs? For many people, the decision comes down to what you can afford at the moment. At the Killbuck Savings Bank, our expert lenders are here to help you make one of the biggest decisions of your life. Everyone has different needs. Our job is to listen to your story and help determine the best way to turn the page on your life's journey. The Killbuck Savings Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Once again, this game being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxon Communication Team, Casey Claxon and also Carson Zollers, providing the YouTube coverage. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Brogan Steinwell back at WKLM Sports Central. McRoy alongside Mike Maslowski to begin the second half. Highland has the ball, going right to left. Three-pointer by Detweather is going to be no good. Rebound hauled in by Brody Lovelton, and he'll have his third rebound. River ball going left to right. Into the quarter, tie long. Dribbles it to the right wing. Backs it up, long to the top of the key. Now to the foul line. Now spins around left wing. Pass out top, goes to River Thompson. Thompson guarded by Alex Miller. Picks it up. Now the right point to Isley. Isley surveys it. Now between the circles. His bounce pass to the left side, grabbed by River Thompson. Thompson looking. Holds onto it. And finally going to be a reach and foul. Actually, no. Five That's seconds, the, Matt. Five seconds, excuse me. He held on for just a bit too long. And again, credit not only on-ball defense, but off-ball defense. River Thompson had nobody to throw the ball to. Highland has it. Pass left point goes to Finn Kelly. Kelly to the foul line. To the right wing to Detweiler. Triples it out top. Left wing back to Alex Miller. Miller top of the key now with it on the dribble. Pass left side goes to Detweiler. He'll dribble it. Defender falls down. His three-pointer is going to be knocked down. He took advantage of it. His third three-pointer. Sammy always takes what they give you. I'll take it to the hoop. If you're on me, if you back off and give me a step, I'll drill the three. He has 16. Pass mid post inside. A nice look by Ty Long inside to River Thompson, who makes it up and in. Again, that's what River wants to see. A little two-man game. Get a little backdoor cut for easy point. Thompson's first two. Into the corner, goes to Alex Miller now for the Hawks. Drive to the baseline. Dumps it inside, now out top to Alex Yoder. Right wing, Finn Kelly. Back in the corner to Detweiler. Out top to Carson Haberger. Drive to the lane, back in the corner to Finn Kelly. His three-pointer is going to be off the mark. Rebound hauled in inside by Ty Long. Pilots basketball, right wing back to Isley. To the right block, under the basket, knocked out of bounds. Off the hands of Finn Bowers, couldn't corral it. That'll be the ninth or eighth turnover on River. Highland has the ball, 6-13 to play, third quarter. 31-14 Hawks. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway in Millersburg. Alex Miller to the right wing, gets the handoff to Detweiler, drive to the lane, into the corner to Alex Miller, all alone for a three-pointer. His shot's no good. Rebound grabbed by Isley. Isley to the front court. Out of the foul line, to the lane, spins around, shot left hand, knocked down by Cable Isley. His first two points of the night. Highland ball, Detweiler on the right wing. Al top goes to Habiger. Drive by Habiger. His runner off the side of the backboard, no good, but he was fouled. And now, I believe on Long, his fourth personal foul is that the case. And it will be his fourth personal. Lawton just has not been able to get in the sink of this game. And again, one of the leaders on this team just can't get into any rhythm. Detweiler, one of four for the foul line. Tonight, I should say Carson Habiger, rather, one of four for the foul line. He steps to the charity stripe. And that free throw is up. It's going to be good. you got to credit Carson. He knows who's guarding him. He knows that Lofton has three fouls, that he's going to have to play a little bit soft to give something. And again, uh, Carson did a great job making a choice there. Smart basketball. Now Finn Killey's out. Connor Beachy is in. Haber made the first one. The second one also is going to be knocked down by Carson Haberger. He has three points all of the foul line. 33-16 Hawks. Pilots have it now. Five and a half to play third quarter. Isley to the front court. Works it against Detweiler as per usual. 
Picks it up. Bounce pass high in the left. Grab by River Thompson. Now the right point. Goes to Isley. Isley to the foul line. His 15-footers up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound corralled by Sammy Detweiler. Hawks basketball. Detweiler to the front court. His pass to the corner. Knocked out of bounds instead by Cable Isley. Stay tuned after the game for a high school scoreboard on WKLN. It's brought to you by Rhodes IGA. Rogan Style reporting on all the area tournament scores for you all the way until midnight. I think it's important to say, too, we've been talking about Holland's defense. River's playing pretty good defense themselves. Three-pointer by Detweather, no good. Rebound to the corner, chased down by Finn Bowers. Pilots have it. Into the front court. Here's Brody Lullathan on the right point. Back to the corner, received now by Finn Bowers. He'll dribble it to the right side. Picks it up. Kicks it high on the right side. Back to Lullathan. Under five minutes to play in the third. Lullathan spins around. Lost it. Dribbles it. Back to the quarter. Grabbed now by Thompson. His three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Thompson, however. He's stolen away from behind by Haberger. Haberger to the front court. On the fast break. To the quarter now. Grabbed by Detweiler. Out top Alex Miller. Thought about it. Holds onto it instead. That was the ninth turnover on River. Left wing, back to Habiger. Surveys the defense, now left post inside to Alex Yoder, the big man. Backs it in, Yoder. Jump hook is going to be no good. Rebound to the four, grabbed now by Finn Bowers. Pilots ball, Lullison to the front court, out top. On the left point, back to Isley. Jab step, Isley down to the foul line. Back to the right wing to Lullison. Lullison drive, lane, his shot off foul is going to be baked in in the foul. On Connor Beachy, and now Lowell for a chance for a three-point play. Again, that's what Lawton does all season. Try to get a guy on your hip, try to get to traditional three-point play. Beachy's first personal foul, first team foul on the Hawks. And for Lowell, his first two points of the night. Kyan Home Center is the destination, a trusted source for your home, building, and woodworking needs. Offering free next day local area delivery. Place your local delivery order online at Kyan.express. Free throw by Lullathan is going to be good. Completes the three-point play. Or that be a foul called inside? Called a foul on number two, River Thompson, on the push. Again, bad foul there by River. Thompson's second personal foul. 33-19. Highland has the lead in the basketball. On the left point, back out the beachy. Right wing to Finn Kelly. Kelly to the foul line. Left wing back to Wigdon. All alone for a three-point basket. And his shot no good, however. Rebound by Detweiler. His putback is going to be good. Sammy Detweiler. Big possession there by Holland. Again, Holland went last four or five possessions out of score. And again, get a match point for point here for River. 35-19 Highland. River has the ball. To the right wing. Grab now by Johnson. To the right block inside. River Thompson. Thompson backs it up to the corner. Picks it up. Thompson kicks it back to Isley, high on the right side. Isley dribbles it to the foul line, to the lane, falls down. It's a pass off to the left wing. Now grabbed by Bowers, drive to lane, just shot for the right block. It's going to be no good by Bowers. Rebound slapped into the hands of Sammy Detweiler. And his third rebound, Highland gets that stop. Three minutes to play in the third. Detweiler to the front court, bumped, no foul, to the left wing. Out of the foul line, into the corner, his new look pass goes out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. And Detweiler will slow to get up. After that play, looks like uh, he'll walk it off. Thought they could have called a foul there, actually, against River on uh, when Sammy threw the pass. Had a little body on him, and again, was able enough to just make an inadvertent pass there by uh, Detweiler. Yeah, a couple of bumps, new foul. Seventh turnover on the Hawks. Winner moves on to take on Federal Hawking in the regional semifinals Tuesday, 8 p.m. at the Convo at Ohio University. River basketball across the timeline. Here's Lullathan on the left point. Back to Johnson. Hayden Johnson backs it up against Wigdon. His pass deflected. Goes to the corner. Out of bounds. It'll be off of Dick Wigdon. So it'll stay with the Pilots here. Near side corner. Two and a half to play third quarter. 35-19 Hawks. Lullathan. And bounds it out top. Goes to Caden Johnson. 5'11 junior. Back to Lullathan on the right wing. Lullathan falls down, and they're going to call a foul on that one. A reach in the second team foul on Highland, I believe, on Beachy. That would be his second personal foul. I thought that could have even been a travel. <coughs> Instead, the pilots will have it beneath their own backboard. Here's Cable Isley. 
Eisley's pass to the corner to Lullifan, back to Eisley. Three-pointers up in the air, going to be knocked down. Gable Eisley from deep. He was due to make one again. Nice hard-nosed kid, averaging 17 points a game and already has five here in the third quarter. River basketball, Wigdon on the left wing. Inside, the pass goes to Finn Kelly for the Hawks. Kelly drives to the lane, his shot actually passes instead of the corner. Three-pointer by Haberger is going to be knocked down. Carson Haberger with the answer. Haberger, his first field goal tonight, he has six points. Much needed there for the Hawks. 38-22 Highland, River ball. Here's Isley, poke loose, stolen away. By Haberger, to the front court to Beachy. His lamp would be off the mask, no good, but he was knocked to the floor and fouled. A hard foul on Isley, and that'll be his first 13th foul on the river. A little frustration foul there, but again, it's going to force Highland to earn those points at the charity stripe. River 10 turnovers, Highland has seven by comparison. Connor Beachy is at the foul line. Beachy looking for his first point tonight. 5'9", junior guard averaging five and a half a game during the postseason. Free throw up going to be knocked down by the left-hander. 44% for the foul line during the regular season. 39-22 Hawks. You look at it, River starting to make a little bit of a run. Highland right back up those seven Again, point lead. That's what you want to do. Don't give them any light. Don't let their crowd get back into the game. Second free throw by Beachy. Up, going to be no good. Splits the pair, rebound. Alex Yoder double teamed immediately. It'll be a held ball. The arrow does point to River. So the pilots will have it. Light focal pressure by Beachy and Sammy Detweiler. Under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Isley into the front court. Directing traffic high on the left side. His pass goes to Lulf and out top. Wilson double team, now left wing. Into the corner goes to Isley. His three-pointer is going to be knocked down. Starting to get hot is Cable Isley. Just able to create a little bit more separation. Isley able to see the, the rim a little bit better. Hit the last two three-point shots. All his eight points coming in this third quarter. Here's Wigdon to the foul line. Nelson inside to Alex Yoder in traffic. Knocked to the floor, stole it away. Eighth turnover on the Hawks. Pilot's ball. Here's Isley to the foul line. Out top, Lullifan. Back in the corner goes over the River Thompson. Thompson dribbles it. Back in the left wing, looking for Isley. He'll find him now near midcourt. 39-25 Highland. Isley left wing. Now to the corner. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Isley inside the paint, cut off by Detweather. His shot high in the air, going to be knocked down. Hand in his face. Isley still knocked it down. Stepping up there, the junior there, after 17 points a game. Man, he's made the difference here for River here in the third quarter. 10 points for him in the quarter. 39-27 Highland. Now a 12-point lead. 38 seconds to play in the third. River fans now on their feet. Here's Wigdon near the midcourt line. 30 seconds to go. And Highland tries to go for that final shot of the quarter. Again, they made the final shot at the end of the first quarter and then have to get that momentum. See if they can do it again as they spread the floor. Wigdon has it out top. 17 seconds. Now down to 15. Wigdon still with the dribble. Down to 10 seconds to go. Here's Alex Yoder, inside, goes to Detweather on the back door cut to the corner. Left wing, Schrock, out top, Wigdon. His three-pointer's going to be knocked down again! Nick Wigdon, three-pointer by Isley, going to be no good at the buzzer. And that will close out the third quarter. At the end of three, Highland 42 and River 27. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. It all started back in 1953, when a farmer from Stark County and a mortician from Holmes County opened up a tire store with three tires. Millersburg Tire Service is celebrating their 70th year anniversary, and they are proud to say they're still doing business like they did 70 years ago, just on a larger scale. As owner Brad Schmucker gets ready to slow down, the third generation gets ready to take the reins, ensuring they can provide exceptional service for years to come. Whether you need new tires, tire repairs, or regular maintenance, their experienced team has you covered. That's Millersburg Tire Service on State Route 39 East of Millersburg, celebrating 70 years of business. Since 1991, the Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $10.5 million in scholarships to more than 2,700 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. This year, the foundation has expanded into a full-fledged community foundation, which will allow strategic grants to other nonprofit organizations for the good of the community. Scholarships for the 2023-2024 academic year will be available on our website, www.hcef.net, starting in January. 
Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. Three-pointer by Deadweather, no good rebound, Alex Yoder. And then a foul called Alex Miller driving to the basket. And they're going to call a foul inside. That's going to be a charge on Alex Miller. Again, Alex has been trying to get the ball to the hoop quite often here in the game and got to credit River again. River there in that defensive possession looking to trap it, scramble a little bit. They're going to have to force some things defensively. Just into the fourth quarter. That was the first personal on Miller. Third team foul on Highland. And Highland a 42-27 lead in the fourth. River with the basketball. On the right wing goes the Lullifant. He'll dribble it out top. Lullifant out of the foul line. Drive. His shot off bounds. Going to be no good with the left hand, but he was fouled. Lullifant on that drive. Uh, foul, and he'll be at the foul line to shoot two. And one for one for the foul line tonight, Brody Lullifant. Well, Lullifant and Isley both like to do. They almost like to put their head down, take it hard to the basket. They cover it, try to draw that foul. And that'll be the first personal on Fenn Killy. 14 fouls on Highland. Lullifant, the free throw here is up and good. And he has four points. Third quarter numbers courtesy of Mike Banslowski. Highland three for seven for three-point range, 43%. River was two for three for 67%. Highland one of two for the two-point range for 50%. River four of six for 67%. Lolfen makes the first, uh, second free throw also. Highland three of four for the foul line, 75%. River was one for one. River out rebounding to Highland seven to four. Each team had two turnovers in that third quarter. Highland ball. In the fourth, out top goes to Haberger. 42-29 Highland. Haberger foul line, lane into the corner, Alex Yoder, and gets called for the charge as he ran in inside to Isley. Carson needed a jump start. He, he left his feet. Got to credit the River Pilot stepping in there to take the charge. Haberger, his third personal foul. Five team fouls down on the Hawks. You don't want to leave your feet on your penetration of pitch. Either slide to the right or to the left or jump stop. And that was what happens when you do. It'll be River with the ball. Here's Caleb Isley, red hot in that third quarter. We'll see what he does here in the fourth. Isley to the front court. On the right wing to Lullifan. Out top to Keaton Johnson. To Lullifan, now right wing. Out top goes to Isley. His three-pointer's going to be no good this time. Rebound grabbed by Alex Yoder. Highland ball. Yoder has his ninth rebound. In the corner goes to Simi Detweather. Now to Schrock. Out top goes to Connor Beachy. Left corner to Alex Yoder. Back out top by Leaping Beachy, he'll grab it. Now to Haberger, double team. Dribbles it now to Alex Miller, high on the left side. On these chasing, they should be able to get a backside block pass because they're doubling the ball in the back on the uh, left or right wing. See if Highland finds it. Here's Haberger near midcourt. 6.20 to play in the fourth quarter. That weather high on the right, he's double team. Looking, he'll find Haberger, drive to the baseline. His lamp off last, it's no good, but he'll be knocked down. And that will be a foul. And that'll be the 14th foul on River here in the second half. I like what Carson did again. The defense is all above the foul line. He's got there's no help defensively. Take it hard to the basket and force him to foul. And that'll be the third personal on River Thompson. Habaker now 3 of 7 from the charity strike. Habaker free throws up going to be no good. Rolls off. He has six points. Five of those six coming in the second half. Stop by Southside quickly and ask for a Quaker State oil change. For performance you can count on, Quaker State, the power to reduce friction. Second free throw's up, going to be good. He'll split a pair of seven points for Hamburger, 43-29 Highland. River ball, nearing the six-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Isley to the front court, the handoff goes to Lullifant. Lullifant, right point. Bounce pass inside, goes to Ty Long, and shot off the glass is good. Ty Long inside. He has seven, 43-31 Highland. Up by 12, focal pressure is on. In the front court, low pass by Haberger. Too tall and out of bounds, looking for Simi Detweather. Instead, it goes in the seats, and that'll be the ninth Highland turnover. Again, Highland just has to be patient there. That full court press, the middle's open and backside opposite wing. Here's River with the ball, here's Isley. He'll cross the timeline, 5.40 to play. It's the handoff. Corral now by Thompson, near midcourt. Thompson on the right point, picks it up. Now out top goes to Isley. Now on the left wing. Isley's pass, right block inside the tie long. Out top to Lullifan. Back inside the long, corrals it. He'll be fouled from behind by Alex Yoder, 16,000 Hawks. 
Yoder has his second personal foul. Here's the thing. Chris Labar said this team, River, will play hard. Has the will to win. And you can see that you got to get. Here's the thing. Hot has been playing great, but they've had to work hard offensively to score those points. Again, 12 points. <laughs> A little tight, probably for Highland. Keeping themselves in the ball game yeah. as Rivers, you mentioned. On the left point, back to Lullifer. Looking. Around the foul line, Ty Long. Dumps it inside, goes to Johnson. Missed the layup. Lost this balance. Rebound goes to Habiger. Head of the front court to Detweather. Drive to the lane. His scoop shot blocked inside, but a foul is called on Thompson. 15 foul River, and Thompson has his fourth personal foul. Again, I like this. I know you're up 12. You think maybe you should back it up. Don't. You got the numbers. Take it hard to the basket. And he has one of two for the foul line, Sammy Detweather. 18 points for Detweather on the night. Six foot junior, Sammy Detweather. The free throw is up, it's gonna be good. 19 for Detweather, 44 to 31 lead. Now for the Hawks. Winner moves on to face Federal Hawking in the regional semifinals Tuesday at 8 p.m. at the convo. Second free throw is up, good as well. 20 points for Detweather, Highland up 45 to 31. River has the basketball, down by 14. Isley across the half-court line. Isley with it high on the left side. Bounce pass, right point to Long, right wing to Thompson, inside of the Long, knocked out of bounds, however, instead by the Long arms with Alex Yoder. I thought he deflected it off of uh, number 23, Ty Long's hand. Very close, but it will stay with the Pilots. Right now, in the Garraway malvern game, Garraway has a 48-43 lead over Malvern. That game also being video live from YouTube. And finally, a five second violation as they cannot get the ball inbound. That's the second time we've seen that tonight. Yeah, again, credit Highland's defense, not only on the ball, but off the ball. And again, River just standing around at times. And again, you got to say, they only play six players. So you know this guy's endurance and is hurting them a little bit. And again, see how it goes here the last five minutes. And battled against that full court pressure. Beachy's pass goes to Alex Miller. His pass deflected, stored away by Isley. His shot good in the foul on Alex Miller. Big time steal in the bucket. Isley, a chance for a three point play in that full court press, giving Highland some trouble. It is, and again, you do not want to have the ball in your hands when Isley's on you. He is all over you. And again, you don't want to throw the ball over the press. You want to throw bounce passes and throw it back. Timeout called, 4.51 to go. 45-33 Highland. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. At Wayne Door, we are your trusted partner in helping you build your dream home with quality technicians who pay attention to every detail so you won't have to pay costly future repairs. At Wayne Door, we only install high-quality products to protect your family for generations to come. We have your whole house covered with garage doors, windows, and more. So choose the team at Wayne Door. People you can trust since 1973. Visit waynedoor.com for a free quote today. And it'll be at the foul line for River. Stepping to the charity stripe. That free throw is up. It's going to be good by Isley. Completes the three-point play. 13 points, 45-34 is the score. Pass goes to Miller. It goes out of bounds. Another turnover on Highland. And that is going to be for the Hawks. The back over to River here at midcourt. I think Highland needs to reverse the ball on the press. Slow it down a little bit. Reverse the ball. Then get to try to get the ball down court. <coughs> so it'll be Pilots basketball at side court. Inbounded out top goes the Lullifan. Right on the foul line. Deflected, Lullifan grabs it under the bucket. His shot up going to be no good, but he'll be pushed to the floor. Brody Lullifan now to the foul line to shoot two free throws. And that's going to be 18 fouls on the Hawks. And Lullifan is three for three for the foul line. That's also the fourth personal on Carson Habiger. And remember, Brody was out for the River Pilots the first half in foul trouble. Hasn't sat out this whole second half. And that free throw is up, going to be good. Lullifan now has six points on the night. Nick Wigdon is in. Carson Haberger is out. 45 to 35 Highland now. Their lead trimmed to 10. 4.43 to go. And the free throw, the second attempt is going to be good. Makes them both those Lullifan. 45 36 Highland, a nine point lead. Still working against that full court pressure. And that is a Detweather. Double team, cross court pass to Ibishi, out of bounds, another Highland turnover. And Highland now up to 12 of those here tonight. Just un not like Highland, really, really not like Highland. Again, 
feeling the pressure a little bit. And again, I think it's Isley, because he is kind of all over the place on the defender. And again, make the easy pass. Inbound, it goes to Lolofen, high on the right side. Lolofen dribbles it. And three-pointer by Isley, top of the key, knocks it down. Cable Isley. And now a six-point high in the lead. Miller into the front court, ball thrown away again. Another steal. Isley front court, drive to the lane. His shot off the last, no good. Rebound goes to Alex Miller, Highland ball now. They finally get across midcourt, I think. Now to Detweather across the timeline. Back to Beachy, into the corner, Wigdon, his three-pointer's gonna be knocked down. A huge shot for Big Nick Wigdon. time shot for the Highland Hawks. They needed it, and great timeout by Coach, Coach Slayball right there. Wigdon has eight, timeout called, 48 to 39 Highland. Four minutes to go. This is District Championship Basketball and WKOM. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. At Pomeranian Hospital, they're committed to providing heart and stroke when life's urgencies strike, depend on Pomeranian Medical Center East, home to full-spectrum urgent care, on-site x-ray, and occupational health services. They treat all ages for minor illnesses and injury, such as burns, cough and congestion, sprains, strains, and more. Comprehensive occupational health services like physicals, tests, and screenings are also provided under one roof, offering the convenience of local care and extended hours. Pomeranian Medical Center East, located on State Route 39 near Walnut Creek. They're here when life happens. Call 893-0793. YouTube as well as on WKLMFM.com on stream two. Right here, Highland has a nine-point lead. River has the basketball out of the timeout. With it is Brody Lolofen at three-quarter score. He'll take it across the timeline. Guarded by Beachy to the right wing. Pass inside, grabbed right block. Goes inside to Ty Long. Long against Alex Yoder. His shot can be good. Rolls in over top of Alex Yoder. Big shot by Ty Long. Great defense by Alex Yoder. Long has nine. Focal pressure on. Wigdon has it in the backcourt. Now to Detweather. He'll cross the timeline. Bump, no foul. Backs it up. Near side of the beach. Into the front court ball. Batted away. There's a steal. Knocked away again by Detweather. Rolls out of bounds. Saved or was it? Off the of Highland. It's out of bounds. And that will be a Highland turnover again. I thought Highland did a good job initially breaking the press. And then once they cross half court, they kind of stopped instead of looking down court. You don't want to go back to where the ball was because that's where all the defenses, defensive players are. Habiger in with four personal fouls, replacing Nick Wigdon. Again, Rivers for six uh, turnovers this qu uh, quarter uh, for the uh, Hawks. Highland up by seven now, 48-41. River ball. Lolofen spins around. His lamp going to be good. He'll bank it in. 48-43. Ball stolen away, banked up, no good. Put back by Loth and good. A foul before that, as I believe River Thompson was fouled on his shot attempt that he missed. And that'll be 19 fouls on Highland. They need, I think Highland went in on the make. They need to run the baseline and enter it on the opposite wing. They're entering, they're entering opposite of Caleb Isley, or Cable Isley, rather. He is unbelievable on the ball defense. Enter the ball off wherever he's at. Don't throw it to Go that away guy. From him. Yeah. Go away from him. No doubt. That was the fifth personal. Also, meanwhile, on Haberger, he's going to foul out Carson Haberger with 3.15 to play. Free throw up going to be good by River Thompson. Three points for Thompson. 48 to 44. And here's the thing. River has yet to miss a foul shot in this half. They've come back, made this a ball game with 3.15 to play. Second free throws up. That's going to be no good. Rebound. Juggled. Grabbed by Detweiler. Tight the ball. And his fourth rebound. Detweiler in the backcourt. Double team. Pass goes over to Miller to the front court to Beachy. Beachy spins around. Drive to the baseline. Beachy will be bumped and fouled that time by Finn Bowers. His first personal foul. 16 foul on the Pilots. Again, Hahn's going to have to make free throws here coming down the stretch. Three minutes to go. 
One of oh. two for the back will be, uh, be not a bonus just yet. So Hyland will have it to win down beneath her own backboard. Sammy Detweiler. Bobs the right of the foul line, Alex Yoder. Now to Wigden, left of the foul line. Dribbles it out top to Detweiler. His three-pointer is going to be in and out. No good. We have done. Wigden, he'll put it back up and in. Nick Wigden with the putback. Nick Wigden playing big time here for the Hawks. Five big points by him in the fourth quarter. And ten for the ball game. 50 to 44 Highland. River has the ball. 2.40 to play. Isley's pass goes to Lullathan high on the left side. Right elbow now to tie Long. Long, right wing. Gets the handoff. Here's Isley out top. Back to Ty Long. His three pointer is going to be no good. Rebound put back by Thompson is going to be good. River Thompson has five. Four point lead for Highland. Fulker pressure on. Beachy dribbles it. His pass goes to Detweather. Down to the front court to Alex Miller. Nice look goes over to Alex Yoder. He'll make it up and lays it in. Alex Yoder has five. 52 46 Highland. And where did it enter the ball opposite? Isley on that press. How about that? It worked. Down to the baseline. Here's Thompson. Backs it up in a timeout call by River. 154 to go. Highland 52, River 46. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. Hi, this is Sarah Clark. Stop by and visit us at 5354 Township Road 336 off of State Route 39, right next to the Methodist Church. At Creative Edge, we personalize a unique look for each individual. We care and build relationships with our clients, and we strive for the latest trends through continual education. Creative Edge has a professional, relaxing, and positive atmosphere. Creative Edge is a full-service salon offering dimensional hair coloring, haircut design, nails, pedicures, massage, facials, waxing, and eyelash lifts and tints. Please call us for an appointment today at 330-674-3343. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services continues to give you even more options for all your real estate needs. As your local market experts, Howard Hanna has been known as trusted realtors who take special care of your real estate opportunities. Visit them on the web at howardhanna.com or call them at 674-7610. Plus, don't forget about RES Auction Services at res.bid for the latest auctions. Call for consignments at 833-765-3737. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services and RES Auction Services on Glen Drive in Millersburg and visit RES at the Auction Yard on Fry Road in Worcester. They're stronger together and here for you. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway Player of the Game. That player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subway in Millersburg. In battle left wing goes to Cable Isley. Back to Brody Lullifant. Right wing back to River Thompson now. Thompson held on to. Bounce pass by Puck. The tight long knocked out of bounds by the denied defense of Finn Kelly. 144 to go. River ball. They have they are down by six. Thompson inbounds it to Lolofen high on the right side. Back to Thompson, right wing. Looking. Thompson. Pass out top to Isley. Head fake. Dribbles it. Left point now to Lolofen. Lolofen dribbles it. Backs it in on Beachy. Out top goes to Finn Bowers. Down to Isley. His three pointer's going to be up in the air. Going to be knocked down from deep. Cable Isley. That's NBA range there, Matt. What a shot. Cable Isley, a huge second half. Highland up by three. Embedded to Detweather. Double team into the backcourt. Detweather picks it up and finally a timeout call by Highland. 113 to go. Highland 52 and River 49 back after this on WKLM. Are you tired of wasting money on your home energy bills? Let home siting contractors show you just how affordable replacing your windows can be. Provia has developed a reputation within the vinyl replacement window industry for having the best features and options. The Provia Endor and Aspect windows are as stunningly beautiful as they are energy efficient and over time will pay for themselves. Call home siting contractors today to set up your free in-home evaluation by calling 888-725-6619. Stay tuned after the contest for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Rhodey's Hodge Game Marketplace. Broken Style reporting on all the area tournament scores for you all the way until midnight. Highland Ball up by just three. They'll have it in the backcourt against that full court pressure of River. 1.13 to go. Embedded to Alex Miller. 
His pass to Beachy. Back to Alex Miller. Miller dribbles it into the Fokker. Nice look. We'll wide open Alex Yoder. He'll lay it up and in. Alex Yoder from the nice look from him on the pass from the other, uh, other side. 54-49 Highland. River ball. Isley left wing. Dribbles it out soft. Isley to the foul line. Layup going to be no good. Rebound to Wigan. Poke loose. Grabbed by Ty Long. Lost it on the floor. No after. Going to be tied up. Arrow going to stay with, uh, I believe, River. So they'll keep it. Now Finn Kelly will be set to check in. 41 seconds to go. Highland up by five. Coach Slaybar's putting his defensive specialists in there again. Try to make a stop here. Big possession here for both teams. Highland 54, River 49. Winner moves on to take on Federal Hawking Tuesday, 8 p.m. at the Convo at Ohio University in the regional semifinals. Kelly will replace Nick Wigna. And the wipe off will spot on the floor there beneath that basket. But um, a basket here. And for River to win bound, it's going to be Cable Isley. Isley under the bucket on the pass. Goes to Ty Long. His layup no good. Rebound to the floor. It's going to be grabbed by Alex Yoder. And he'll be fouled by Isley. His second personal. 17 fouls down River. And it will be a one-on-one for Alex Yoder on the other end. And... 10, 10 rebounds for Alex Yoder. So big again, Alex Yoder tonight with the double figures in rebounding. And he's made some big buckets here also in the fourth as well. Now at the foul line, Alex Yoder. 57% for the foul line during the regular season. Free throw is going to be no good. Rebound, slapped around, grabbed by Ty Long. Pilots basketball. Isley to the front court. Three-pointer for the air going to be knocked down. Cable Isley. With the three, 22 points for him, 20 seconds. Detweather will be fouled on the reach in near midcourt, I believe by Isley again, with 19.8 seconds to go. It's a two-point ball game. Three of four for the foul line, Sammy Detweather, and they need these free throws right here. I think Ty Long just picked up his uh, fifth foul. So they'll say it'll be his fifth, and he'll foul out. Ty Long with 19 seconds with nine points tonight. Man, what, what can we say about uh, River? No quit in them, just like Colin. Great game, great D, D, Division Four district final game. Awesome job by both teams. 54-52 Highland, 19.8 seconds to go. Timeout called. This is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. At Promotion Therapy Services, customer service and specialized treatment options are what set us apart. We work hard for our patients day in and day out. Our team of physical and occupational therapists are conveniently located for you in the heart of Millersburg. Can't come to us? We'll come to you with our team of therapists who specialize in home health services. We make it easy to receive physical therapy, emphasizing a close relationship with your physician as well as helping you navigate the insurance process. Our team is excited to begin offering new services such as dry needling, sports-focused rehab, foot orthosis consultations, and taping. With questions, call us, 330-600-0844, or visit us online at promotion-therapy.com. We look forward to promoting a better you and would like to wish all winter sports a safe and healthy season. And Shreve and Berlin wish good luck to all the area high school basketball teams. They'll provide you with a quote for your home, auto, and farm insurance. Proudly representing Wayne Insurance Group. Troy Miller Agency, a working team for all your insurance needs. And big free throws right here, here for the, for the Hawks. As Highland steps to the foul line, 54-52 advantage. I think Rivers calling another timeout, which is interesting, because that's going to leave him with one timeout, I believe. I'm not sure if I would have used that timeout if I was River. Yeah, might need that later. We'll see what happens there. 19 seconds to go here. And again, the other district final game. Last we look, it is a uh, Garraway had us now a three-point lead in that game over Malvern, 62 to 59, late in the fourth quarter of that game. Is that also a close contest? That game also being video live stream on YouTube. Winner of this game moves on to the regional semifinals on Tuesday. But as you mentioned, no quit in this River team. Give them a lot of credit fighting back in this ballgame. They are. And got to start with Isley. I mean, he just, again, put it on his shoulders. And he, does, he it's interesting. He doesn't force anything. He has a great handle. A, a great handle. And you got to say, Burley Lofton, who was in foul trouble in the first half, was able to get things going in the second half. And you know what? Coach Slaybar, he said it right. This River team has the will to win. And again, Holland, I believe, just has been playing just as well as a river here in the second half, and 
again, we couldn't ask for a better matchup. <coughs> Crunch time down the stretch here, 19.8 seconds to go. Again, this game being video live stream on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxton communication team, Casey Claxton and also Carson Zellers. Brogan Steimel back at WKLM Sports Central on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. It's interesting. Officials are huddling, and I know some of the River assistant coaches thought maybe they had an extra timeout, and I'm not quite sure that's the case. You know, you'd have to go with the official book and see what they say. Um, you know, guy, kid fouled out. You do get, I think, 30 seconds. It looked like they took a timeout, so this is this kind of interesting. Yeah, we'll see what they give them. Mark Stable want an explanation as well. Looks like he got what he wanted, and it'll be Sammy Detweiler again at the foul line. Detweiler waiting for that music to stop and again receive the basketball from the official after this long wait yeah, for I'm, him. I'm not sure if what the uh, situation is. And now again, official. I'm sorry, Matt. Some of the pie should have been taken care of between the two timeouts. Yeah. <laughs> official walking to the score table again to talk to uh, head coach Mark Romick. For River. And now, oh wow, Detweiler are waiting at the foul line to shoot these free throws. Again, might be a ploy just to ice them a little bit again. These are two big foul shots, but I believe the, the call was on the floor. So it'd be, I believe it should be a one on one. And still discussing it with two, the two officials. I, I have really no idea, Matt, <laughs> what, what the issue could be. We'll see, unless he gave him a two shot foul. If it's a one-on-one, -on -one, then I'm not sure what he's complaining about. And at one point, did the officials say, okay, discussion over? Now they're checking at the scores table again. As Mark Stable again gets an explanation from the official. And I think we are ready. Detweather with the one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Lines it up, Detweiler. Free throws up, it's gonna be no good. Rebound to the four, out of bounds, off of who? Off of River, Heinz gonna get the ball back. Absolutely, and if you're River, you gotta get that ball no matter what. You can't wait and think that ball's gonna be knocked off of the uh, Highland Hawks. Nick Wigden back in for the offense. Finn Kelly is out. Highland to inbound, but he thrown backboard in a two point lead, 17 seconds to go, and another timeout for the Hawks. Up 54-52, this is District Championship Basketball on WKLM. Sauls and Berlin wishes good luck to all Holmes County coaches, players, and families on the tournament trail. They also invite you to stop in and see all the new spring items they have to offer, including potty benches and glass window boxes. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind unique item, including a large selection of hot sauces, marinara, and salsas to share with the community, visit Sauls online at SaulsInBerlin.com or find them on Facebook. Seventeen point six seconds to play. Highland has the ball again and a two point lead. See what Highland can draw up right here on this play. Well, first of all, you have to get the ball in bounds. That that's number one. Second, we'll see if he's trying to gonna get a quick hitter here. Again, see if they're gonna give you anything. If not, again, you probably don't want to take an outside shot. Maybe an uncontested layup and force him to foul. One more here's the thing, a, a common foul is still just gonna be a one and one for the Highland Hawks. They'll break out of the huddle, does Highland. On the four, Alex Yoder, Connor Beachy, Nick Wigdon, also Sammy Dentweiler, and Alex Miller. Alex Miller to inbound for Highland, but he throwing backboard. 17.6 seconds to go. Highland up by two, they had the ball. Inbounded to the corner, grabbed by Dentweiler, now stolen away. River basketball on the steal. 10 seconds, Isley to the foul line. Poke close, a reach in foul called on Detweiler. And that'll be for Highland, their 10th team foul double bonus. Isley will go to the foul line with 8.6 seconds to play. Again, Isley has to make those foul shots. Again, Highland should have the last possession here either way. He is one for one for the foul line, Caleb uh, Cable Isley. 8.6 seconds to go. Pressure free throws this time. And Isley's been outstanding this entire second half. All 22 points for Isley have come in the second half. Free throws up, it's gonna be good. Make it 23, River back to within one. 
Then Kelly is in. Nick Wigdon is out. And the second free throw by Isley. That is up and going to be good. Nothing but net. Tied up at 54, 8.6 seconds to go. Timeout on the floor. This is District Championship Basketball and KLM. Whether you're looking for tile, hardwood, carpet, or luxury vinyl, Elite Flooring and Tile has a broad selection. Elite Flooring and Tile is a full-service flooring store with over a million square feet of flooring in stock and ready to have installed. Be sure to mention the promo code BUYLOCAL and save. Hours are Monday 6 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 6 to 5, and Saturday 8 to noon. Elite Flooring and Tile is conveniently located one mile east of Walnut Creek on State Route 39. Point six seconds to go as River has tied it up on two pressure free throws by Cable Isley at 54. So Highland a chance to get another shot off, but you have to get it past half court now. Here's the thing, you gotta get the ball and bounce. I'll be interested to see what River's gonna do. Are they gonna try to put some pressure like it's been working the whole second half? Or are they gonna try to just pick up half court and let Highland decide? I, I can see River maybe putting up some full court pressure here. It's been working and put the pressure on, on the Highland Hawks. On the four for Highland, Nick Wigdon. Alex Miller, Sammy Detweiler, Connor Beachy, and Alex Yoder. And River showing the full court pressure. Nick Wigdon went to inbound on the back baseline for Highland. Wigdon looking, pass goes to Alex Miller. Into the front court to Detweiler, dribbles it, Detweiler to the foul line. It'll be fair, blocking, foul called. With 4.5 seconds to go, it'll be Detweiler to the foul line. What a great play by Sammy. Great out of bounds play. Get the ball in bounds, opposite Sammy Detweiler. Across the middle, was able to force a foul on the River Pilots. And again, he gets a chance at a, see if it's a one and one though here uh, at the foul line. Sammy Dettweiler, the second personal on Finn Bowers. Bowers just had the wrong spot there and Dettweiler able to take advantage to draw that blocking foul. And he is three of five for the charity strike. And needs it right here. 4.5 seconds to play, and Netweather a chance to give his team the lead. As they towel off the floor, Netweather looking to receive the basketball for the official. He finally does so. It is up, and that's going to be good. Huge free throw. See me, Netweather. Highland has a one-point lead. I know this. You do not want the ball in Cable Isley's hand on a make or miss here. Second free throw by Detweiler. That is up, and that's going to be good as well. Highland up by two, 4.5 seconds to play. Here's Isley, dribbles it across the timeline. Isley, out top, three-pointer for the by Isley going to be no good, and that'll do it. Highland survives, and he went at 56-54. Outstanding game, Matt, by two great teams from the Eastern District. Credit both teams, and again, Highland just had enough to pull out the two-point win. Highland survives. Stay tuned. We'll be speaking with head coach Mark Slave on the floor after this on WKLM. The Mass Trucking Maintenance Team is growing and looking for experienced trailer and truck mechanics at both locations, Millersburg and Maslin. The pay range is between $24 and $32 per hour depending on skill level and weekend availability. To learn more, contact Tom at 330-674-8913 or apply online at masscareers.com. Join Mass Trucking Maintenance Team today. If you've ever wanted to experience Buckeye Career Center's adult education, now is the time. Part-time courses beginning in March include automotive electrical, editing and Photoshop, and sewing. Don't forget about our adult education open house March 14th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Learn more about our nine full-time programs, career enhancement options, apprenticeships, and the adult diploma program. The $50 application fee will be waived for those who attend. Call 330-339-2288 for more information about the March 14th adult education open house at Buckeye Career Center. 
A single family home located at 2603 Domet Drive, Unit 1391 Millersburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions. With an asking price of $250,000, this property was built in 1987 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 1,508 square feet located in the Lake Buckhorn subdivision, West Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see... In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime. We're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. On the fourth, Highland Hawks in basketball. Coach Marsh Stable Highland a winner, 56-54. And Mark, uh, go to little Harry there at the end. You guys able to somehow pull it out and get the win. Yeah, I mean, I, we knew that that big lead wasn't going to last against that team. They're just, their kids play too hard. And, yeah, I mean, <laughs> even at halftime, they're just knowing that, hey, we're going to still have a close game and trying to tell our kids we're, we got to expect that at the end. And, I mean, part of it was us not handling their pressure well, but part of it was that was just really good pressure. And um, yeah, I mean, I have a ton of respect for that River team and how hard their kids play. Really played hard for your guys. Obviously a key stretch came back in that first half, right, Mark? That big uh, 19 or a run that kind of left you to get out that big, uh, big lead in that first half. Yeah, I just thought first half we responded with our rebounding and our transition offense. And um, I mean, I think we maybe surprised them a little bit with, with our athleticism and we're able to get some easy baskets, which, you know, we knew scoring was gonna be at a huge premium tonight. And so to get those points early was huge. Obviously, big shots made by them and Cable Isley's especially, but how about Sammy Detwell? There's two pressure free throws there at the end of the game. Yeah, Sammy hit two big ones. Sammy had a great game tonight, really led us offensively. And I thought the other biggest shot of the game was the three Nick Wigton hit in the corner and just stepped up and really knocked down a big shot for us. Bottom line is, guys, uh, get this victory here, moving on back to the regionals. Your thoughts as you get to move on back into the regional tournament? Yeah, we're excited. You know, you told me a month and a half ago this team would be playing in the regionals. I said, you're crazy. Um, so just proud of our kids and how hard they've worked here at the end of the year and, and the belief in themselves. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's really hard to get to this game. It's really, really hard to win this game. So we're always proud of our kids, you know, for a game like this. Mark, congratulations on the win. All right, thank you. Let's always the Highland Hawks of basketball. Coach Mark Slabo back after this on WKLM. Sally, you need a root canal. Traveling, you need your wisdom teeth out. Traveling, you need braces. Traveling, you need a dental implant. Traveling, you need your teeth cleaned. Traveling, that's it, happy feet. You're benched until you start going to Dr. Welsh for your dental care. Quit traveling so much. Yes, coach, I'll check out their website at www.drbradwelsh.com and give them a call at 330-674-4876. Good luck to all area winter sports teams. A single-family home located at 7559 Township Road, 105 Millersburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $239,000. This property was built in 1920 and has five bedrooms and two full baths with 2,200 square feet. Located in the West Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Dan Miller at 330-763-4653 or check it out at kaufmanrealty.com. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. Fours, you director Kitchen down there uh, getting their uh, their medals there after capturing the district championship. A hard fought win here tonight, Mass, but Highland able to find a way to get it done. They did again. Wanted a quick start, which they did. They wanted to pressure the ball and force River not to get good looks, which they did. But one thing Coach Slaybaugh said, he said this River team has the will to win. And again, that's what they did. As well as Highlands played, River played just as well. They just didn't knock down shots. The second half, big difference is. River knocked down shots and the pressure 
by River, and specifically Caleb Isley. I can't say enough. He did it at both ends, offense and defensive end. But again, anytime Holland needed to make a play, they made a play, and it made a difference at the end of the game. Certainly did. Again, the crowd on their feet, cheering on their team as the Hawks raise up that championship plaque to uh, capture the district title. Moving on to the regionals as we kind of look at the uh, numbers here in the uh, the contest. Of course, that key run early in the game. Highland was tied up at three with River. And Highland went in on a big 19-0 run. He led 18-3 after one. They led 22-3 at the end of that 19-0 run in the second quarter. And Highland led 28-12 at halftime. And Highland had a 15-point lead through three quarters at 42 to 27. However, River would put on that full care pressure in the fourth quarter, and Highland had trouble with it as he would uh, cause Highland to turn over the ball right and left in that fourth quarter. And they would actually outscore Highland 27 to 12 in the fourth. And, of course, the two big th uh, free throws knocked down by Cable Isley tied the game up at 54 apiece. But then Highland would beat the press by River to get to Sammy Detweiler. He would be fouled on a blocking foul on the foul line with four and a half seconds to go. Detweiler would knock down both free throws. And then River's Cable Isley would miss the three-pointer at the end of the, the game. And Highland gets the, the, the victory. Two points for Vic win by 56-54 over River here tonight. Move on to the regional semifinals. For Highland, look at the individual scoring leaders for them. Sammy Detweiler led the way as he had 22 points. Then Simi Detweiler, he was three for eight from three-point distance, also four for five from two-point range. He was five of seven for the foul line. Simi Detweiler finished up with 22 points in double figures now for the fourth time in a postseason play, the 23rd time of the year, and the 22 points, five points shy of tying his season high. Also scoring for Highland, Carson Habger would finish up with seven points, but he would foul out with 3.15 to go. Eight points also scored by Nick Wigdon, and he had uh, five points to Wigdon in the fourth quarter. So a big bucket and a three-pointer by Wigdon, as well as a two-point basket he knocked down in the fourth that uh, Mark Schleyball talked about, his total of eight points. Also seven points scored by Alex Goder, three apiece for Finn Killy, and also Alex Miller, one for Connor Beachy, rounding out the Highland total of 56. For River leading the way, it was Cable Isley, who again was outstanding. He went to five for eight from downtown, three for eight from two-point range, three for three for the foul line. Isley had 24 points, and all 24 points for him came in the second half. After that, nine points apiece for Ty Long and Brody Lullathan. Long with foul out with 19 seconds to play. Five points for River Thompson, four for Keaton Johnson, and also three points for Finn Bowers. Running out the river total of 54. Hyla wins at 56 54. Back with the team numbers right after this here on WKLM. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IJ Marketplace. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have red raspberries, two for six dollars. Gallon Smith's milk for three fifty-eight. Family style Oreo cookies, two for eight dollars. How about Gerber's boneless chicken lovers' choice, four sixty-nine a pound. Smithfield sliced bacon, three ninety-nine. Ballpark all beef franks, four ninety-nine. Sea scallops for sixteen ninety-nine a bag. And thirty-one to forty count easy peel raw shrimp for six ninety-nine a pound. Don't forget to call 674-7075 for meat cheese and party platters at Rody's IGA. At the charity stripe, Holland was 10 of 18 for 56 percent. River was 11 of 15 for 73 percent. And River out-rebounded Holland 31 to 27. At the turnovers, Holland had 16, River had 10. And individually for Highland, rebounding-wise, Alex Yoder finished up with nine rebounds for the offensive end. Also four rebounds for Sammy Detweiler. For River leading the way, Ty Long had seven boards, two at the offensive end. Four rebounds also for Keenan Johnson, and he had three at the offensive end. And seven boards also for River Thompson. And the final tonight, Highland wins at 56-54, and the Hawks will survive and move on. And again, you got to credit, I think that the, the, the way Highland plays, it, uh, Gives them in this position where they have success in the tournament. His non-league schedule every year, Coach Slaybaugh, is very tough. And I really believe that prepared him for this game. River, again, 
cannot emulate that pressure in practice or any teams that they played, which allowed Holland to get up big, which they needed to sustain this game at the end. And again, Holland, don't count this team out. They do really well at each level of the game, and those kids, and it's the confidence that that takes them to the next level. And again, I think uh, this Hawks team's going to surprise teams here in the regional. They know how to play at this time of year, and give credit to Caleb, uh, Caleb uh, Cable Isley, and he had a strong, a monster second half. Unbelievable, and he's only a junior, and here's the thing. The Hawks are going to see him, but the best thing is they won't see him again until next year. <laughs> no doubt about that. Also, just an update that the Garraway also won their game 65-61. They defeated Malvern, so Garraway also moving on to the regionals. will take on Afrocentric or Garraway, uh, of course, next Wednesday at the Convo. For Highland with the win, they improve the record of 17-9. They'll take on Federal Hawking. It'll be at 8 p.m. on Tuesday at the Convocation Center of Highland University. That'll be at 8 o'clock again this coming Tuesday, March the 7th. And for River, with the loss, they'll drop their record and end their season at 21-5. and five. Coming up tomorrow, of course, we'll have girls division four regional championship basketball. Highland takes on Portsmouth Notre Dame. That'll be airtime and live on FN 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Airtime 6.30. Tip-off is at 7 o'clock. We'll also be hosting the video stream for that game, per the courtesy of the OHSA regulations right after the game. So, again, after that game, we'll be posting that video stream for that uh, for tomorrow night. Also, tonight, don't uh, stay tuned for uh, reports on the Division II District Wrestling Tournament from Steubenville. West Holmes, of course, uh, we're competing in that District Wrestling Tournament here today in the first day of the District Wrestling Tournament from Steubenville Health reports and results from West Holmes after this game here tonight. Do you want to thank our Claxton Communication Partners, Casey Claxton and Carson Zollers, allowing us to bring you this video live stream tonight. And also thanks to Brogan Steinwell back at WKLM Sports Central. Again, our Subway player of the game goes to Sammy Detweiler. He'll receive one complimentary footlong fresh value meal from the Subway in Millersburg. For Mike Bazlassie, I'm Matt Croy. Again, the final score tonight, it was Highland 56, River 54. So long, everybody. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.